All right, so check this out. You can now get 3D Gaussian splats into After Effects and do some pretty cool effects, kind of like this. And this is actually very easy to do. There's a couple different plugins, but the one that I'm using right now is just called Gaussian Splatting by iRealix. I'll link it in the comments below. And what's cool about this is basically, if you're used to After Effects, um, you can bring in your PLY files from, say, Luma, PostShot, Nerf Studio, Scanniverse, whatever it is that you're using, and essentially throw it onto a solid layer inside of After Effects. Um, but you also get access to other cool things, like being able to get a Z-Depth Pass, for example, what I see right over here. And then using some very basic compositing, you can throw in 3D objects, like I have in the back over here, these rocks, and easily occlude them using something like a gradient wipe transition or whatever your Z-depth workflow is. So what's cool about this is, hey, you have the rest of After Effects to do whatever the heck you want. So I took a motion tracked video, basically. Let me show you right over here. An actual video that I recorded in the same scene that I captured this in and extracted the motion from that and applied it to the Gaussian splat. So let me show you right over here. I've got that same motion applied over here. And then you get access to all these cool effects. So if you've been excited about how you can do sort of the Luma loading animation, you can recreate all of those different types of effects right inside of After Effects. So let me show you, for example, what you can do. I'm gonna jump down here into Effects. Displacement's a fun one. Let me show you Noise as well. So Noise is easy. Once you set your pivot point, you can kind of just add noise, play with the amplitude, the ramp, etc. You got really cool effects around displacement. That's what I used in the shot over here. So as you come on over here, I've got a displacement effect that's basically sucking everything into it, all the points into it. And then boom, I've got this gradient ramp creating this like sort of matrix like effect. Kind of fun. Um, I'm just playing around getting the hang of this. Let me show you a couple other things. Opacity is pretty fun to play with. You know, if you're familiar with Gaussian splatting, you know, after a certain set of iterations, you kind of get this really cool translucent effect. You can pretty much recreate that. If you want to highlight certain pieces in your scene here, let me turn off the 3D objects over here. Turn this back on. There we go. Um, you can play with this like minimum value. So if you want to like draw attention to a certain point, you can totally do that. Um, you can obviously also feather the transition between all of these things. You can sh shape size. So that's how you kind of create those sort of zooming effects where you start from, let's say, a minimum value of zero, and then you kind of have stuff scale up like this, right? So this is pretty cool. I'm excited about this. The one thing I will say that I'm pretty bummed about is the fact that you have to use Z-depth compositing in order to, um, you know, kind of get these effects. The problem with that, I just want to point that out very quickly, is let's say I'm pushing back a little bit. You have to update your Z-depth map, right, based on how far you get. So... Um, as you can see over here, you have to kind of clamp your, uh, you know, near and far planes to make sure that the depth map actually works for the, um, sort of camera position that you're in. Uh, this is a little bit annoying also because let's say the occlusions right here behind the chair are perfect, but when I rotate around, of course, you know, <laughs> it's going to clip the other way, which is obviously physically not accurate. This is where having these things in a full 3D engine like Unity or Unreal where you've got, you know, the 3D objects intersecting would be much, much better. But hey, there's so many other things that you can do inside of After Effects that I think this is actually going to be a lot of fun for a lot of people.